Welcome to my lecture online. As we mentioned in the previous video, there are two main ways in which we can simplify complex fractions. So we're going to show you both methods. I prefer one of the two methods. Matter of fact, this is the preferred method, and this is actually a little bit easier to, to, to use, but we need to show that you can also do it like that, because that gives you confidence that there's different ways in which you can solve this, or at least simplify complex fractions. So we're going to use this as an example, and method one says that we're going to simplify the numerator and the denominators separately. In other words, we're going to add the terms in the numerator separately, we're going to add the terms in the denominator, and then we'll simplify whatever we have left over. So let's try that. So in this case, we have the, the complex fraction 2 minus 1 over 2x divided by 3 divided by x plus 1. So when looking at the numerator, notice the lowest common denominator in the numerator is 2x. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply the 2 by 2x and also divide it by 2x. So 2 times, let's use a different color, 2x divided by, and we'll put 2x there. So essentially nothing has changed. 2 times 2x divided by 2x is still a 2. And then we subtract from that 1 over 2x. But now you can see that in the numerator, both denominators are common. And we can write over the same common denominator and subtract the two terms. In the denominator, we're going to do the same thing. 3 divided by x plus 1. And again, we're going to multiply the numerator and denominator by x. So again, in the denominator, we can see we have two common denominators. So now we can add the numerators together in both the numerator and the denominator. See, that's why they call it complex fractions. Things get kind of complicated. So here we have 4x minus 1 divided by 2x. The whole thing divided by 3 plus x divided by x. So notice we have a fraction divided by a fraction. I guess that's why they call it complex fractions. But then we realize when we divide one fraction by another fraction, that is the same as multiplying by the inverse. So this cannot be written as 4x minus 1 divided by 2x multiplied, instead of divide, I'm going to multiply it by the inverse of that, which is x divided by 3 plus x. And then you can see that here in this case, this x cancels out with this x, and so we're left with... On the numerator, 4x minus 1 divided by, in the denominator, 2 times 3 plus x, like that. And that would then be the final simplified form of our original complex fraction. So that's method 1. What about method 2? Method 2 says that we're going to multiply the numerator and denominator by the lowest common denominator. So let's look at all our denominators. In our numerator, our denominator is 2x. And in denominator, our denominator is x. So here you can see that our lowest common denominator is going to be the largest of the two, or 2x. The method tells us that we're going to now multiply the numerator and the denominator with the lowest common denominator. So the numerator and the denominator are now going to be multiplied by the LCD. And of course, in this case, the LCD is 2x. And that's what we're going to do. So we end up with 2 minus 1 over 2x divided by 3 over x plus 1. And so the numerator is going to be multiplied times 2x, and the denominator is going to be multiplied times 2x. Now let's see what we get. Now obviously when we multiply, and where's my red pen? There it is. We're going to multiply the 2x with the 2 and the 2x times the 1 over 2x. Here the 2x is multiplied with this term and multiplied with that term. So let's see what we get. Okay, in the numerator, 2 times 2x is equal to 4x. And 2x times a negative 1 over 2x, the 2x's cancel out, and I'm left with a negative 1. In the denominator, a 2x times 3 gives me 6x divided by x, which means I simply get a 6. And here I get plus 1 times 2x, which is plus 2x. And then I realize in the denominator, I can factor out a 2, and so this can now be written as 4x minus 1 divided by 2 times 3 plus x. And notice we get the exact same result that we got before. So again, 
All we have to do is find the lowest common denominator by looking at all the denominators. In this case, 2x is the lowest common denominator. We multiply the numerator and the denominator of the complex fraction by the lowest common denominator. So 2x times 2, 4x, 2x divided by 2x is 1, got the negative. 2x times 3 is 6x divided by x is simply 6, right there. And 1 times 2x is 2x, then you factor if you can, and that's how you end up with the same result. Now, what method do I prefer? I prefer this method. Some people prefer that method, either one works, but we'll show you how this is actually a pretty slick method, especially when the complex fractions get quite complex. And so this is the method we're going to stick to, and that is how it's done.